Hi there. After doing the fridge, as you saw from the last video, the better half has been on and on and on. Will you do the overhead lockers, love? So let's have a little look at those. Oh, what's occurring? First things first, let's remove the locker doors. Three screws and three screws to take out. Before taking them out, what I shall do is just mark around the edges of the bracket there and here and then that will let us put the cupboard door back on in exactly the right place little tip for you uh, top of any deodorant can or something like that keep all the screws together nothing gets lost or it falls on the back of the sofa or anything like that all doors off now let's just remove the latch which is just two screws there once you have your door and all the uh, accessories off the door, place it over your vinyl wrap. Um, make sure you've got enough to fold over on itself. And on the other side, and I think we'll... That line, that line, there. What's handy on the back of this vinyl wrap is that the squares and everything are there. And then we just trim it off with the scissors. And with this, it doesn't have to be dead on because you can trim it on the back of the door once it's all fitted to square it up nicely. One door ready to be wrapped. Peel the backing off the wrap. Make sure you clean the doors, get rid of all the uh, any dirt or dust that's on the door so they're spotless because the dust will show under the vinyl wrap. The DC, you do get a little uh, kit you can buy, for 250 I think it is. You get your scraper to get the bubbles out, manage to locate it. You don't need it, definitely need it, but it can help along the way. And then so you just work, work the wrap in, removing all the air bubbles. As before. It is that easy. There, and now it's just done. There you have it. Now it's just a matter of folding the edges over and one complete unit. For the edging, what I tend to do is just work it over so it sticks there people do say you can use a hairdryer to stretch it round but on a plain cupboard I don't think there's any reason to on the corners maybe see the little air bubbles there And when you see a little air bubble, you can either peel it back off or if you just get get your little knife and just poke the hole now and again and then the air will just squeeze out of those. Wrapped, tidy, looking good. So now, as I said earlier, it's a little bit uneven. So basically, what you can do is just go around here now Trim it all off nicely in one movement. Like so. Neat and tidy. All we've got now is a hole for the locker catch. And if we just push down gently on that, that will stretch through. Lovely. Just chop that like an X effect. And then that is quite tidily hidden. Yeah, sorted. Lovely jubbly. Now, just mount it back up 
and happy days oops i don't know if you can see there is a small little bubble there which you'll notice so now we could just prick that rub it over and then by magic it just disappears there one happy cupboard door cupboard door fixed make sure it goes on to the lines i marked earlier so it lines up two out of four done number three out of four one two three four all the top lockers in the lounge area and now we've just got this side to do now and plus this one here another one and another one and yet another now last one finally done all my wood has disappeared and final wrapped the overhead lockers which very pleased about and also back to the fridge we wrapped previously there you have a new lease of life well Rian likes it anyway and I'm here to please happy wife happy life okay so there's the overhead lockers completed now is the uh what can i say now is the test when she comes home from work and inspection so let's hope that goes fine hope you enjoyed the video and give it a try yourself it's easy if you don't like it peel them off great stuff final wrap uh please like subscribe ring the notification bell if you enjoyed uh so you'll be notified when we release a video next thanks a lot cheers see you on the next one What's occurring?